All right, Moose, just get this done with. Why Why are you not finishing things? Like, you got this door halfway done and then decided to build this windmill. Like, why won't you just finish the door? You seem to be, like, all over the place. Um, you're, you're getting sidetracked. What's in the cargo pods? Okay, we've got... Uh, oh! Penocycline. Um, this is actually good stuff to have. That will prevent my people from getting sick if I have that. So, we'll take that. Pythagoras' theorem about the triangles was actually his second theorem. His first was, if we mess with Rick and make this game uh, not make sense, it'll be mega lulls. That sounds about right. Pythagoras, everybody knows, was in it for the lulls. Um, that's why everyone loved him. Real funny guy. So, yeah. So, obviously, these need to be eight apart. It's fine that these ones are nine apart. These ones need to be eight apart. And now the cold snap is over. Cool. And now I'm not producing enough power all of a sudden. So, that's just amazing. We're having power outages here. Um, wait, why are we having power outages? Did we sever a power line somewhere? Because we have enough battery power. Let me see here. Power. Ah, that's why. Because we severed this friggin' power. Okay, that's why. Um... Let's do... I could just complete that, or I can go the shorter route, which is right here, which is what I'll do. There we go. We'll just go the short route. And you know what? I don't like that we have these power lines here, so let's build power lines here, too. And then we'll eventually just deconstruct those power lines. Ah! We've actually... We're missing a power line right there. Okay. Yeah, so we do not have enough power up top. There we go. We'll get that sorted. And... Okay, that's attached to power. That's attached to power. Cool. We've got our windmills back up. This should all be covered with roof here. There we go. It is. Fantastic. Um, this part isn't, which drives me a little bit crazy. So we'll build a roof there. There we go. And voila. Now our entire base, with the exception of these uh, solar panels, is now under a roof. And now we just got to get it nice and warm in here. Nice and toasty. So if we're going to get it nice and toasty, let's start moving some... heaters into the middle of this. We'll have, like, radiant heat. If we heat the middle, hopefully it'll radiate outwards and heat the, uh, perimeter. And if we're gonna do that, then I'm gonna need power, right? We're gonna need power running to the... Here we go. We'll run like that. Power. And, um... Likewise, we'll run power... Cross these guys. There we go. Okay. And I should replace this. This is like the only wooden walls I have here. These relics. I should definitely replace those with slate here soon. Can you do hydro farms? I can do hydro farms, but I'm going to need more steel and I'm going to need more component if I wanted to do that. So in the meantime, I'm just going to use the um, uh, sun lamps and do it the old-fashioned way until I can actually afford that. Because I'm going to need to find a miner that's good enough to go and just devote their time and energy into finding steel for me. Because I've sort of already picked all the steel clean from the outside of these mountains. So now I'm going to have to start boring inwards. And there is actually a little bit of steel sticking out here. And obviously a little bit of steel here too. I don't want to mine too greedily into here because we do have some kind of an ancient threat there. Okay, day 33 of the volcanic winter, all right? Day 33. Everyone's still alive, though, with the exception of Mel. We're going to get through this. All right, now let's uh, start to move heaters into the center like I was talking about. And... Hopefully, we'll be able to radiate heat to the perimeter like we discussed. Okay, so I'll put one here. There we go. And so we just got to find out how warm it gets here. And then we'll put vents in these walls. Do, do, do. Vents, vents, vents. Um, temperature. There we go. And I've actually done something like this before where um, I've had 
a place roofed like this, and then during the summertime, I can just take the roof off and grow crops with sunlight. But then in the wintertime, if I want to keep growing crops, I can just put the roof back up. And, uh, whoop. There's actually something blocking that, so we'll just build over here. And we'll do you there, you there, and uh, you there. There we go. Okay. So we'll see if we can get this place nice and warm now. So, yeah, it's, it's a nice 70 degrees in here, 50 degrees outside. So it is staying nice and warm in here. The question is, how are we going to keep it warm down here? If I move these down into these bedrooms, so like that. Um, actually, here, cancel that, cancel that, cancel that. Uh, so I don't need heaters in these bedrooms, probably. It'll probably be warm enough if I let the heat come into here. We just need heaters down here, honestly. So let's move you down here. Um, here, actually here. I'm going to uninstall. Let's just uninstall these. And then we'll start to sort of test what the... Uh, warmth is looking like in this place and then we'll just start to put heaters in one by one until it's the nice balance of warmth there we go and also i don't need this wall here anymore right because this entire place is um under a roof now so technically i don't need this wall here we'll leave it here though for now Oh, we have some flake here, too. I'm not going to bring that flake inside, either, because I don't want people starting to go crazy on flake. Last thing I want is a flake addiction. Not right now. Who's streaming tomorrow? Tomorrow is Jasmine. Jasmine streams on Wednesdays. Okay, guys. Um, 63 degrees in here. And, okay, we've got these things packed up. Let's go ahead and just haul them away. 41 degrees outside, 62 inside. So we could probably use... You know, maybe one more uh, heater. One or two more heaters in this place. So, put a heater there and maybe a heater down. Eh, actually, we'll see what that one heater does. We'll add one heater at a time. Order 3 Steel, 22 component. Jazz is probably... Nope, Jazz isn't mining. I thought that maybe she'd be mining right now. She's not. Did she go mine that steel that was up here, though? She did. Okay, great. So there's a little bit more steel to mine. A little bit more here. There we go. Cool. Okay, so now we've got that heater in. 53 outside. 64 inside. I mean, 64 is a comfortable temperature. Down here, though, 62. It's, it's pretty comfortable, honestly. How are we doing up here? 70 degrees up here. Whoa. It's very warm up here. And there's only one heater in here. Um, yeah, so you know what? How many heaters do I have in here? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven heaters. Okay. Cool. We'll just keep it like this then. Because it's warm enough. My people should be happy. Yeah. That'll do. That'll do real nicely. Now we can start to grow in here. And without using all those extra heaters, we're not going to be needing as much power, which means that we can divert that power to sun lamps. Oh, speaking of power, this guy's broken down. Somebody's going to need to go fix that. And who is going to go fix that, actually? Rick is? Okay, don't, don't mess this up, Rick. All right? Don't screw this up. All right, let's build some sun lamps. We probably have the power to spare now. Um... So, we could probably build two more sun lamps. So, I can build one. Let's see. Build one here, and then I'll build another here. There we go. And I could, if I wanted to, take the roofs off now because there's no radiation. But I'll just keep the roofs up. It's a nice warm temperature in here. It should be a better temperature for growing plants. Yo, what's up, Anna? Anna's up in here. You're still alive, Anna. Good news. You're still alive. 
Bad news, I had to kill all the animals. But you're still alive. Um, I'm going to shrink all these growing zones that I don't need here right now. Here we go. Shrink all of these growing areas. There we go. Now I just have these growing areas. And now I have these lights. Oh, you know what I should do? I'm going to actually shrink this growing area too. There we go. And then we'll just make new growing areas out of here. So create growing area. And here we go. It's just going to be food for now. For now, it's just food. There we go. Okay. Um, oh, shrink this too. We've got a little sliver here. There we go. Cool. So now I've got some indoor growing stuff. Good. Temperature's looking good. We can start to focus on this stuff down here once again. Um, start to get these floors built for our new workshop area, which we can start to move down here. Um, I'm going to need to start to look for more steel as well. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put in orders to start strip mining. That's going to be what Jazz is going to be doing from now on. It's just strip mining this place, looking for all of the steel. There we go. And there we go. Just mine out an entire mountain until you find what we're looking for. Find all of the steel. There's bound to be steel inside of this mountain somewhere. We just got to find it. There we go. We'll see if she has any luck with that. And I don't need this little walkway anymore either, obviously. Um, so we can get rid of that here soon, but that'll do for now. All right, let's start putting in the floors in this workshop area. Marble tile. There we go. Get back to work. Whew. Oh, Anna, did you just find out about what happened with Ryan? Yeah, that was bad. That was bad news. Yeah, and Mel died. Mel died today. We had our first colonist death. I am back. We're back on top of it, though. We're just waiting for the volcanic winter to get over, all right? 35 days. Almost halfway through the maximum length of... Ooh, we... What did I say? We hit compacted steel. I knew that we'd find some steel eventually. There we go. It looks like everybody's back to work. Temperatures are good in our place. Um, we're going to make this our workshop area. We can make this the um, hospital area right over here. So we'll do uh, some sterile tiles in here. Uh, as far as research goes, okay, we're still researching robotics. And let's see, it's Kimchika that is hard at work. Oh, and it's actually paying her respects to Mel. That was sweet. Kimchika's hard at work researching robotics. Fantastic. And yeah, we'll put some lights in here. Start moving all of our uh, workshop stuff down into this area. All right. We're back on track, guys. Everything's falling back into place. All right. Phoebe Chillax can throw a nuclear winter at us all she wants to, but we're going to we're going to get back to it. We're going to land on our feet. She tries to throw us tries to break our stride is what she's trying to do. We're not having it. You miss Mel so much? Yeah, yeah, everybody does. But we've got this nice uh, sarcophagus, which I made, by the way. So just want to say, no big deal. I authored it, at least. Which seems only right. If my wife dies, I should probably author the uh, sarcophagus. You know, it's the least I could do, really. Uh... So, you know, I was thinking about taking this wall out, but it seems like we should have some kind of a um, a lane to go through. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to build a wall there, and then we'll just make this sort of a, a travel lane. We should have something going up to this side, I think. And honestly, we should have a path this way, too. Um, something going around the grow area, so we don't have to walk through the grow area to get to this other side. So, that's actually fine. We'll keep this. I was going to take the wall out. We're going to keep the wall. And we're almost done building the floors. Okay, so since the floors are almost done, let's just go ahead and start to reinstall our um, equipment in here. Uh, you know what? I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to take advantage of this tiny little spot here. We're going to move you here. And 
We'll reinstall you here. There we go. Put some chairs in here. There we go. And... There we are. Okay, so that's going to be our nice little uh, stone cutting area. We'll do some... Um, yeah, we'll move these shelves. Which, again, flammable, but it's okay. We're going to take our chances keeping these flammable items. There we go. We'll move the shelves there. Um, we'll build our machining table right over here. There we go. And then we'll move the sewing machine over here. There we are. Reinstall chairs. There we go. Nice. Okay. This place is going to be pretty sweet. Reinstall you right there. And then we've got our little artist table. Um, let's see. Do I have you guys being moved? I do. I have you being moved. I have you being moved. Okay. Let's move you over here. Like that. I'm going to build a copy of you. Like that. There we go. We'll reinstall you. Right there. Perfect. Okay. This is going to look pretty sharp. Textile trader. Ooh. Textile trader. Um, we probably have some stuff to trade. Let's see, Joe. Go see what they've got. What do we got to trade? We've got... Um, here we go. Some old clothes that we can trade. Uh, we've got a bunch of fur that we can trade. We got a ton of cloth that we can trade if we wanted to. Wow, you have 14,000 silver. That's a lot of silver. Um, here, I'll give you my alpaca since I have a bunch of muffalo wool. Um, I'll sell you all my little bits of leather. That's sort of taken up space. I'll keep the blue fur. Here you go. You can have all this stuff. Uh, anything else I can sell? Anything else I could buy? Hmm. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, we'll get 1,400 silver. Heck yes. Okay, the question, though, is where did the silver get delivered to? Oh, geez. Um, that is a really good question. Where did they drop the silver off at? Because I don't have an area for them to drop stuff off. There it is. Okay, thank goodness. Okay, that's where they'll be dropping off silver. Nice. Okay, so our workshop, I think, looks pretty decent. I think that's a pretty decent workshop. And there's room to grow there, too. Um... What kind of sucks is that I can't reinstall this comms console. So I'm going to have to just keep it here or else build another one. Here we go. We can start to deconstruct you here. And, okay, hospital. We were talking about building a hospital. Let's go ahead and start to do that. So we're going to need steel and we're going to need silver in order to make sterile floors. How much of each are we going to need? So that's 12 silver, 3 steel. We can do that. We've got some silver to spare. So I'm going to... Let's see. It's going to cost... That's pretty good. 5 by 11. There we go. We'll do sterile floor like that. There we go. Which means that we'll put a wall in right here. Do I not have any slate? Jeez. You guys are not... Oh, you know why? Because I I do have slate. It's just not on its shelf. There we go. Just got to haul all this stuff over. There we go. Perfect. And here, let's reinstall this guy down here too. Who doesn't have a statue yet? This room doesn't. Let's put a statue in here. There we go. And you know what? Let's also finish off this bedroom. It's not finished. There we go. Minor risk break from Joe. Joe doesn't have catharsis anymore, so um, still very broke up about Mel. So far, 10 days into the um, devastating blow that is losing Mel, but he's hanging in there. We're proud of him. Need to put in some lights in here. It's a little bit too dark. And who's the visitor? Let's see. We've just got one visitor named Crow. Where are you coming from, Crow? Bagul of the Basin, huh? All right. Too smart and abrasive. I'll let you go, Crow. Every now and then, if there's somebody drifting along by themselves, I'll consider kidnapping them. I'll, I'll give it a thought. But we'll let Crow go. And... Yeah, we'll put in some medical beds here. Or not medical beds, just beds for the uh, hospital. We don't really have what we need in order to make medical beds just yet. And I'm thinking this area right here, we could probably make this into a um, our little prison holding area. So if that's what we're going to do, I'm going to put in a granite door. 
I'm gonna put in a door that's hard to bust down. Here we go. Um, here we go. We'll make that a granite door there. And... Yeah, pretty much everything is moved from up here now. Which is great. Let's reinstall these beds down here into the... New hospital area. Perfect. Cool. We'll build some shelves to keep our medicine on. Yeah, nice. Oh, speaking of medicine, um... How is... Okay, we have... Okay, 2.3 years. This herbal medicine will spoil. I just want to make sure that it wasn't going to spoil anytime soon. And it looks like it's doing fine. I'm going to put in some destruct orders for these unsightly wires right here. Rick, my dad's sister told me this joke. Uh, what crisis... What... Oh, what cries and is red? A baby chewing on razor blades. Oh, God, no! Oh! Joshu! No! That's so... Oh, that's... That's disturbing. That is... Oh. Oh, that's disturbing. Wait, your dad's sister... Or your dad's sister. You you, you you described it as your dad's sister, which is a weird relative to have a dad's sister. Um, but I imagine you mean your dad's sister, which some people would refer to as your aunt. But, you know, if you want to refer to them as your dad's sister, I get it. I get it. Are the people in the game named after chat? Actually, the people in the game are named after friends. But once I run out of friend names... Um, I will start to name people after chat. This is, uh, these are friends and other streamers that we know. I'm naming them after. Okay, wow, Rick is really having a hard time building this granite door. I hope you don't botch it. Okay, you, you, you did it. Good job, buddy. Um, so let's make a really nice prison, alright? I'm gonna make a really nice prison that the people are really gonna like to stay in. What kind of carpet should we have for the prison? You know what? Pink. A nice, chillaxing pink. All right, a bubblegum pink to calm the nerves. Oh, oh, I just now noticed Volcanic Winter is over. It's Juga's first, but Volcanic Winter is over. Oh, happy day. Um, oh, this is great. Okay, it's 76 degrees outside, by the way, as well. So we can go ahead and turn this off. Okay, um, also what we can do now is... Um, like I said, we could remove roof areas and then just grow instead, or grow with the sunlight instead of uh, using the sun lamps. There we go. I'm going to unroof this area and then we're going to turn off the sun lamps, is what we're going to do. Here we go. Turn off the sun lamps. We're going to make a new growing area zone. Um, we're going to make a massive growing area. Right here. Just massive. Absolutely massive. There we go. Uh, what are we growing here? We're going to grow more rice. We're going to make tons of rice. So we just have so much food. Um, I don't have any more animals, so that's not really an issue. And I have plenty of cotton, so really, I just want to have so much backup food. What's going on, Suzanne? I see you saying hi there. How's your day going? I'm doing pretty good. We're doing a lot better now. Let's put it that way. Because, man, oh man, did we have some struggles early on. But now things are going pretty well. Things are going pretty good, all right? Going a lot better. Uh, let's not jinx it, though. I should try to work on defenses here soon because I wouldn't be surprised to have another raid here soon. Um, if I actually look at who's got weapons at the moment, one, two, three, four. I think I've only got four fighters at the moment. But if I look at bios, I mean, I've got some people who can shoot and aren't equipped to. So Kimchika actually has a passion for shooting. I should definitely equip her with a weapon. Jazz has a passion for melee. Um, I should give her a weapon too, though. You know, she's a terrible shot, but I should give her a weapon. Um, you know what? I'm going to put in an order for one more rifle, all right? One more bolt-action rifle. There we go. Let's get that done. Do I have anybody on smithing right now? I have Jazz on smithing two. Okay. So here, I'm going to move you to smithing one. Just so you make that gun, all right? I have a feeling there's going to be another raid here coming soon. And I should be prepared for it. Uh, Jazz has tattered apparel, does she? Oh, speaking of apparel, I should probably switch them over to their summer duds. Let's see. Summer! Summer! 
Okay, and Summer Duds. Yeah, there we go. It's basically what they're wearing now, but no parka. And so what is Jazz wearing that is tattered at the moment, huh? Fun down shirt. Let's get you a new shirt then, huh? Here we go. We can fix that. New shirt. There you go. New shirt time. And now we just got to tear down the roof so we can start to grow some rice. Because we have one season, basically. One season, or yeah, one season to grow some rice and then store it. Right now, we have no rice stored. It's all been cooked. So, yes, we definitely need to get as much rice as possible. There we go. Tear down those roofs. What's Jazz doing at the moment? Jazz is... Are you... You got no shirt on. Oh, my God. A refugee is being chased at Frenzingtonville. Two archers, three hunters, a penitent, and a warrior are chasing. Um, a deep space surveyor named Four Eyes. Whoa. Okay. I think we can take him. Two archers, three hunters, a penitent, and a warrior. I think we can take him. <sighs> let's offer safety. All right, let's do it. So, Four Eyes, let me see here. Um, body Pierce and a Psychopath. You are good at construction, so that's nice. You've got a burning passion for intellectual as well. Okay, that's pretty good. I'll take it. Um, let's see. We're going to do Moose, Coco, Enna, and Rick to go fight. Also, Kim Chica. Are, do you not have a shirt either? What is going on here? Uh, gear. How are you not wearing your shirt? Let me see. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um... What kind of shirts do I have? Button-down shirts and t-shirts. Were you not wearing a button-down shirt or a t-shirt? That's crazy to me. Um, oh, I guess they were just super beat up. Okay, so let me put in a couple orders then for some shirts, okay? Looks like a couple people need shirts. There we go. I'll put in a couple orders for shirts. Um, Kim Chico, let's get you a short bow. I know it's not much, but it's better than nothing. And then the four of you guys get your butts over here. And I think this guy was running from the east, which means that the baddies should be coming from the east as well. So, here we go. Get you guys out. Oh, no, actually, no. He's coming from the north. There we go. Wait, well, who's this dead body? We should definitely haul you inside. Oh, and you know what? This actually, this bow is way better than the bow I said to go equip. So, actually, here you go. Kim Chica, equip that. All right, raid. Oh, they're coming. Okay, they're coming from over there. Oh, wait a minute. I do see a lynx here. And I don't think that's one of their links. I'm wondering if that's a links that's going to attack them. We'll see. That may be a part of the mod. Sometimes raids go wrong. We'll see. Nope. That links was just minding its own business. Wait, 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 wait. Stand still, you, you, you dips. Don't, don't, don't rush at him. There you go. There you go. Everybody, just. Yep, focus in on this guy. One at a time. Come on, take him out one at a time. There we go. Now take out purple. By the way, where's Kim Chica at? Okay, she's coming. Fantastic. This guy Snail is coming with his club. Gonna wanna watch this guy. Um, as a matter of fact, you three. Take out the melee jerk first. Moose. Yep, keep focusing on purple. Perfect. There we go, there we go. Take him out, take him out, take him out, take him out, take him out. Um... This guy, Eagle, is going to stab us pretty good. So, it looks like Eagle's coming after Rick. I'm going to send Rick back here. Take out Snail. Come on, guys. There we go. Snail's down. Um, now let's... No, 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 no. Come on. Focus on Eagle. There. Wait, what? don't move to Eagle. Just shoot Eagle. There we go. But Rick, keep running. Sort of like... Kite eagle, if you could. There we go. And uh, how, how's your health doing? Death in 12 hours. Okay, you'll live. Come on, take out eagle. Take him out. There we go. Eagle's down. If we take out, I think, probably one more, these guys are probably going to give up. And Anna, I'm actually going to let you go, all right? You go home. Patch yourself up. Rick, death in 21 hours. Rick will survive too. 
There we go. Come on, take out purple. Yeah, if we take out purple, they'll probably give up. Yep, there we go. And they're giving up. They're running away. Okay, so we got a new person. We got four eyes. All right. Uh, so four eyes, we need to give you a new name. Who is four eyes going to be? Hmm? Who the heck is four eyes going to be? You know what? Let's call um, four eyes. Um, hmm. Who should four eyes be? You know what? I'll start to name some of these guys after um, our amazing moderators. Okay. So Merit. Four Eyes is going to be Merit. There we go. Mel 2. No, I can't stand another Mel death. Okay, I have three um, places to bury people, and I have four bodies. So I should probably make a couple more places. There we go. A couple more graves. There we go. And there we go. We'll get all these guys buried. All right. So you guys don't need to see these dead bodies. Dead bodies all over the place. There we go. Actually, there's five dead bodies. Five. 